When it comes to dress watches, there are two theories. The first is that your dress watch should be your best and most expensive watch, because often the times you need to wear a dress watch are the times in life that really matter, in which case you want to look your best. The other theory is a more practical take that basically says if you're not living your life in a suit, what's the point of buying an expensive watch you only wear a handful of times a year? Which is one of the reasons many people, myself included, love the Orient Bambino, a fantastically beautiful watch that doesn't cost a lot of money. Now the watch we're looking at today also takes that practical approach. It's a watch that I think really knows what it's supposed to be, which is a very inexpensive dress watch. For just under $30, you get steel, sapphire, solid links, Japanese movement, and a stunningly beautiful dial. It is known as the Naxon Pagoda. Now, Naxon is a brand of watches on AliExpress, and I believe I'm pronouncing that right, but I could be totally wrong. And the name Pagoda is actually a nickname that was given to this watch by the members of the Watch You Seek forum, which is where I first became aware of it when I heard that they had originally sold out of their first run of watches. There are a few different colors as well as strap options. And I was originally going to order a silver dial with blue hands, but when they introduced their second run, they added this blue dial version, and I was really intrigued. Prices tend to fluctuate, but the last time I looked, they are about $25 for the bracelet version and $22 for the leather strap. As far as I know, this isn't an homage watch to any specific watch, but if I find out later that it is, I'll pin a comment below. The case is a very highly polished stainless steel, and the design is rather simple, and its finishing is decent. The case is just over 39 millimeters wide, which I think is a really good size for a modern dress watch. It's not too big, but not too small. Now it's just over 41 millimeters with the crown, and it has a lug to lug of 46. Height wise, it's really thin at just over seven millimeters. So because of that thinness, this is a watch you shouldn't have a problem wearing with any long sleeves or jackets. It also utilizes a 20 millimeter bracelet and weighs a fairly light 102 grams. A flat sapphire crystal covers the simply eye-catching dial, which is a dark blue, metallic, highly reflective dial. It looks as brilliant indoors as it does out. The silver hour indices are applied with Arabic numerals at the 12, 3, 6, and 9. A grooved chapter ring sits on the outer edge of the dial, which adds a small amount of texture to an already beautiful design. A small painted 60 oddly sits above the 12, as there are no other Arabic numerals for minutes, but only an acknowledgement of a Japanese movement at the 6. At the 3 is the date window, black text on a white background, although the date window is framed rather than just a cutout, which is a really nice touch considering the price. A small applied Naxon logo sits just below the 12, with the phrase sapphire painted below that, although in the newer versions it looks as though this has been removed. Below the hands sits the namesake of the watch, a small abstract image of a pagoda painted on the dial. Now I can see how some may not like this, as it could ruin what could be a really clean dial. But personally I like it, it's something different, and I think it gives it a bit of character. Now I really like the grooved chapter ring here. It nicely frames the dial, and the hour hashes in it make the hour indicators look like arrows that are all pointing towards the center which draws your eyes in towards the silver hands, which contrasts beautifully against the blue background. The hands are a simple Dauphine style, in the same silver coloring. Now one challenge of photographing hands like this is that they simply reflect back whatever is directly in front of them, which often is a large black lens. So while some of these images may make it look as if the hands are hard to see, 
it's not quite the same in person. Now as for the hands, the second hand comes close to being lined up, but not quite. A crown is at the typical three, and it is a little small, but that's fitting for a dress watch. It is signed with the Naxon logo, which I believe is a crown, or perhaps a really funky three. The back is a steel snap-on case back, which there's nothing wrong with that, especially for this price. I just hate snap-on case backs. But here you have the typicals, including the name, model, logo, and a three atmosphere water resistance, which is a fairly low 30 meters, but it is a dress watch. The bracelet it comes with is really quite good for the price. It has solid links and a butterfly clasp. And I really like the two-tone, brushed, and polished look of the bracelet itself. It's nothing too fancy, but it's a nice surprise considering the price. And just like the watch, it has a decent finishing. Although I have a feeling that, over time, it will show its age in scratches. Now it wears as you would expect. It's comfortable, and at that size and weight, you barely notice it's there. The dial is a decent size and easily readable, but it's not too big. Now I took the case back off just to get a look at the movement. And as advertised, it is a Japanese movement. And it looks to be a Seiko Instruments VJ32B. And since I've had it for a while, I did actually check the accuracy. Over the course of three months, it gained 0.3 seconds a day, which is about nine seconds a month and decent for quartz. Now, interestingly, I did run across a post where someone was able to convert theirs to a mechanical, as well as give it a matte blue finish. So I'll put a link below if anyone's interested. Now, when I consider the price, I don't really have anything to complain about with the Pagoda. For $25, I can't really think of anything that comes close. But that's not to say it's a perfect watch. The misaligned second hand is a good example of why it's not. It's just I think it's a watch that really nails what it's supposed to be, which is a very cheap but stunningly beautiful dress watch. Now let me know in the comments what you think about the Pagoda as well as if you know of any other watches that could compete with it. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time.